Hey folks, Quilly Teen here. Welcome to another episode of our Unity 2D tutorial on how to make a cloney bird, a clone of a popular iPhone and Android game. So right now we have it set so that the bird is successfully moving forward, the camera is following it, but our background is not looping yet, so let's go ahead and give that a go. So um, there's many, many different ways of doing it. Here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a relatively simple, I think, direct way of doing it. Um, you'll notice, of course, as we play here, the camera moves forward. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a game object to the camera. And I'm going to call this the, I don't know, the, the looper. No, or no, I'm going to call it the BG looper object, right? Quite clear what it does. I'll center it technically. I don't think the z-axis matters for this. Um, and then I'm going to add a, yeah, you see I already had a failed start here. I'm going to add a 2D box collider to it, and it's going to be a trigger. And I'm going to make it big enough. Whoops, not in the x-axis, but in the y-axis. There we go. Cover the top and bottom of things. Maybe a little bit hard to see, but it should be more obvious. I'm going to take this BG looper and move it to right over here. Uh, actually, a little further back. So the idea being, as we hit play, the background object will move forward. And I want it every time it hits a background image... I want to take that background image and warp it to the front of the pack over here. Now, to do that, I'm going to use a couple pieces of information. I know that I've got six graphics for the background and foreground, and I will also know the width of each one of these graphics. Oops. Well, apparently, my bad. I had I had a failed start to the recording. There was a technical issue. I've already added a background or box collider to each one of these items. Let's Let's remove it for the sake of completeness here. I will... Remove this component. So my, all my background components will need a box collider so that they can collide with my BG looper trigger. Now, they will also need to be triggers because they're not physical objects that I'm going to be colliding with. Remember the difference. I did a video covering this. If you're not sure what it is, check my channel for a video called about like Unity 3D colliders versus triggers versus rigid bodies and all these things. Triggers are, are things where you want to detect when basically when two things are overlapping. Okay, and colliders, you only want to use like non-trigger colliders when something is supposed to physically hit, hit something and be stopped using the built-in physics engine. This is not what we want to do here. We just want triggers. We just want to know when a background element is touching the background looper object. Now, these triggers will not actually trigger on each other unless something in here is a rigid body. I could give all my background stuff a rigid body, but what I'm going to do is just apply one rigid body to my, um, there we go, to my BG looper object, and that should be enough to complete the collision. The other thing I'm going to do though is just to make sure that these things aren't triggering based on the flappy bird itself or whatever, I'm going to change all these to another layer, and I suspect, yeah, so I've, I've added a layer. I went to add layer, I created a layer called background. So on all these things here, I'm going to give them the background layer, and I'm going to do the same thing for my BG looper. And then I'm going to go to an edit, project settings, physics 2D, and here you can see this collision grid. This is what can collide with what. And I'm going to make it so that the background can only collide with the background, and nothing else collides with the background. So that way, they just won't, nothing else will get in each other's way. The BG looper should collide with these background elements. And we're going to go and, and see if that's the case. Oh, I hate how these things are all have the same number. That's kind of awkward. I didn't realize it would happen. I'm going to add a script. It's going to be called the BG looper script, which should make it relatively simple and straightforward. And um, we're going to open it in, there we go, in mono develop. So we don't need a start or an update. The only thing we need is a void on trigger enter 2D. Okay, so normally there'd be an on trigger enter for the physics engine, but because we're using the 2D physics engine, you have to throw in the 2D in there. And the only reason we're using quote unquote the 2D engine is because we're using rigid body 2D and box collider 2D. Even in this 2D view, you could be using the regular box collider and the regular rigid body. The fact that we're using the 2D, A, theoretically is more optimized because it's got less complicated math. And the other thing is it won't care about the Z axis or the Z axis, depending on where you're from. Um, and it should auto, it should guarantee to collide no matter how things are arranged in sort of forward and backwards plane. So hopefully that works. Now this on trigger enter 2D actually gets past a collider 
2D object, which we'll want to take a look at. Um, and we'll, we'll call it, I don't know, I guess we'll call it collider. So we can get some information about that. For now, though, what we'll do is do a debug.log and we'll say um, uh, triggered and we'll go collider.name. There we go. So this should tell us the name of the thing that we've triggered, that we've sort of collided with. Let me pull the console off. Well, no, that's fine. Um, no, that's not fine. Let's move it to down here. There we go. All right, let's watch the console log messages. When we hit play and we advance forward, there we go. Um, why is it only telling me this once? It has nothing to do with the fact that these are all the same name, does it? That would be stupid. It's one. Let's 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 make sure here. Two, three, four. Because it should it should have been triggering many many times. Five and six. Okay, let me try this again here. Background one. Pause. Why? Actually, why can't I even see you? Switch to wired frame. Where's my collider? Oh! Oh! Derp. <laughs> look, look, it's falling. The reason is I gave this a rigid body, um, but I forgot to flag it as is kinematic. I don't want this to be affected by the actual physics system, by actual gravity, anything of the sorts. So now we'll hit play, and it is not working in any way whatsoever. Son of a bitch. Why? On trigger enter 2D. This is kinematic. It should definitely be hitting these objects. Is trigger. Is trigger. I don't need rigid bodies on these. Do I? Shouldn't have to. What the hell's going on? All right, I'm I'm certainly very confused. Kinematic objects hitting box collider. Am I am I firing the trigger on something else instead? Cuz they're supposed to trigger both objects. Well, no, I added rigid bodies to everything here. Let me let me remove this rigid body. Box Collider is triggered with the script. It should be colliding with the sky, which has rigid bodies on it. Kinematic rigid bodies, yes. What what the hell is going on? This would definitely work in 3D. That's not anything to do with the vertical positioning, is it? You set this to be 10, so then they'll technically be on exactly the same plane, although I don't see why that would be a thing. Just get, everything should be there. Let's add the uh, BG Looper script to this. No, nothing is colliding with one another. Um, well, I am very stumped. Let's remove this rigid body. Got nothing here. Everything set as is trigger, which is correct. Let's add the rigid body 2D again here. I mean, I could make it not be affected by gravity, but that would be stupid. It should be its kinematic. And it should be hitting that trigger. Oh. There we are. Right, the background is actually off by one more, but still... It, it shouldn't affect the Z. It, it doesn't care about that. And clearly it doesn't, because if I remove the is kinematic, then it does trigger the trigger on both. Yeah, which is exactly what I would expect. 
Where did I have that? Background one. Oh, which still has a rigid body. Remove, remove. Get that completely cleaned. Yes. All right. I'm going to have to put in a cut here and figure out exactly why this is not working exactly the way that it should be in a physics 2D. Let me turn all these things on. That eh, shouldn't be a case. Did I, oh, did I forget to set a loop? Background, background, background. Everything's background. No, that doesn't do it. What the hell? All right, well, we'll see you in the next video after I figure out what this problem is, and I'll explain to you why it's not working. See ya.